What is up, good people? Jungle Inc. here. Hope you're doing well. We're going to dive into some eye-opening analysis. Sparked a ton of discussion today on X within the XRP community. Recent data shows that 58% of all XRP ledger transactions come from about 10 wallets. And it's not from the type of wallets you would think. Cryptocurrency exchanges, institutional payments. And these 10 wallets have raised some interesting questions. Are these stats something we should be concerned about? Is this simply the nature of blockchain technology in action? Stick around. We're going to break it down in a very fair and balanced manner and explore its implications. Now, Dr. Artur recently shared some findings on the XRP ledger showing again, 10 wallets make up 58% of all transactions. Even more surprisingly, one wallet in the group alone handles 15% of all transactions. Now, at first glance, this might seem like cause for alarm, but let's dig into this a little deeper before jumping to conclusions. Most of these transactions are driven by arbitrage bots and trust line bots. Now, arbitrage bots play an essential role in balancing market inefficiencies. But the purpose of these trust line bots remains unclear. Now, first let's explain what arbitrage bots do. They essentially are automatic traders that exploit price differences across exchanges. These bots help keep markets tight and balanced by closing the gaps between XRP's price on different platforms. Again, back to these trust line bots. I looked at it, it seems like to just add a bunch of trust lines back and forth. You know, what are they doing? Well, that's a bit more of a mystery, to be honest with you. As we know, trust lines are crucial to the XRP ledger, especially when dealing with issued assets. But what these bots are doing and their implications remain something we need more information on. Maybe these trust line bots on the XRP ledger serve some economic value. I, I can't figure out why anyone would want to do this. I'll try to dig up the information let you know when I find out. Now on X today, the conversation turned negative in a lot of ways. And it's easy to do so, but we need to stay balanced when looking at this kind of stuff. Some people may see transaction concentration and assume it points to centralization. I want to clarify, this is not the case. It's important to remember that concentration of transactions does not equate to control over the network. These wallets, likely run by bots, are fulfilling specific economic roles within the XRP ecosystem, not manipulating or controlling the ledger. Unfortunately, at the end of my post today, it brought up centralization issues. What happened, I was driving, I approved the post without fully reading it, and AI had tacked that on the end, and I didn't realize it. This has nothing to do with centralization of the network. I could not remove the post because there was a ton of great conversation, you know, down below. I just tried to clarify that the XRP ledger is not centralized and this is not an indicator of that. You are free to use the decentralized XRP ledger for whatever purposes you want. If you want to run bots, uh, you're free to do that. No one can tell you not to. That's the whole purpose of decentralization. And there's a lot of great discussion, and I think it was a great learning exercise. The XRP community really dove into this today. Some people like scam detectives raise valid concerns about the dominance of those wallets. Others pointed out that this is just how blockchain systems work. Some actors, whether bots, large accounts, they can dominate the transaction volume. But all of it, in totality, contributes to network functionality, to liquidity. This is decentralized software working the way it was designed to do. We also heard from Ripple developers and others who believe that this data, while interesting, doesn't signal anything harmful to the network's decentralization or maybe more importantly, its security. So what does this mean for the broader XRP ledger ecosystem? Well, in my opinion, these findings simply highlight the evolving role of automation and arbitrage in the blockchain space. Further, looking at this data gives you more clarity about the economic activity that's happening now on the XRP ledger 
more so than when you just look at raw numbers. You see a uh, certain amount of transactions or value. A lot of people assume that's just payments and institutions and exchanges. I think it also shows where the XRP ledger is excelling in trading. That's what these arbitrage bots are doing. And we see what? A pivot from Ripple really trying to position the XRP ledger as a trading hub. Starts to make a lot more sense. This is where a lot of the transactions are coming from. This is where the XRP ledger is having success. I have to admit, it's surprising to see how much of the network's transactions are driven by a small group of wallets. It doesn't inherently mean, though, that something is wrong. It may show you where future growth will come from. Probably trading as a trading hub, starting to really clarify some of the moves we've seen by Ripple and a lot of the independent developers. They stare at this data all day long. They know about this, trust me. And so I think what we should focus on is understanding the role of these bots, how the system is evolving, especially as more applications and dApps are built for the XRP ledger. This type of activity is just going to increase. So to wrap things up, this isn't a story of centralization or control. It's a story of how blockchain ecosystems function and evolve over time. We may say the XRP ledger is a payments blockchain, but it's open source and people will use it for its highest and best purpose and right now, while it may be only 10, uh, you know, 10 accounts, 10 wallets, well, they're using this for a lot of their transaction that centers around trading of assets in trust lines. And I find that really interesting and organic in a lot of ways. And the XRP ledger, it's no different in that sense. That arbitrage and trust line bots are simply part of the system. And while they are valid questions we need to ask and we need to think about and we need to approach them with an open mind let me know your thoughts down below and don't forget make sure you subscribe if you are subscribed hit the bell hit that bell it's so important and as always please like please subscribe the revolution will be televised right here on jungle link